What's up folks at home? Hey, Sean Weeda here from Weeda's Marine. It's been a few months we brought you, uh, since we brought you the first Icon boat in America out of dealership. And uh, the last few months have been exciting for Icon as they launched this brand new boat into the world. Uh, we've seen some big names uh, go to Icon boats, of course, Jacob being the biggest one. But uh, we're seeing more and more Icon boats pop up on the lakes around us and we're keeping that stock and that demand up of these LX21s. Uh, check out the colors on this one. That's what I want to talk about first, and then we're going to take a tour of the LX21 Icon. So first, let's just take a moment to just kind of check out the colors. Man, you can't go wrong with pure, clean white, just an absolute classy looking rig, and we splashed just a little bit of black in on this rig with the bolt, the blacked out Icon logo, and the blacked out Icon wheels, man. The boat is absolutely beautiful. Um, and one thing with Icon is, you know, we try to order boats on the lot that are cool and bold, yet, you know, still appeal to a lot of people. A lot of people running white trucks, black trucks. This boat will look good with almost any color truck. But if you want to customize an Icon boat, remember, if you look at some of our footage or some of, some of our past sales, you'll see we've sold one that's got pink in the seats. We've sold one with lipstick red seats. So you can get any. It's a custom boat company. It's a yacht company. They can make you any color you want. Now, Icon Boats. You watched my big intro video on the Icon Boats, but we're gonna hit over on some of the same things. The whole principle with this boat is super high quality. What are you paying for? Why is the Icon Boat? What are you paying for? What are you getting? You're getting superior craftsmanship, okay? A simple thing like this. I want you to look at this channel system, okay? So this is a yacht style channeled system, okay? You see how deep the water channels are? The whole idea of this is as rain falls on your deck, the water collects here. It's got enough of a lip that the water can drain out these holes back here and we don't get everything soaking wet. Nothing is more frustrating in a bass boat than all of your tackle that you've spent your lifetime collecting and all your hooks that you've organized in your Plano boxes and all your plastics that you've got laid out and they get all salty and soggy and your hooks get rusty. Nobody wants to deal with that and Icon is trying to take that to the next level with their saltwater style yacht type system, okay? I, as a dealer who rigs the boats, appreciate the rear compartment. You know, I can actually pull these two pins and take this piston off and remove this lid so I have intimate access. But if we'll just look, look inside this bilge, and, and the thing that I, I want you to look at, this is factory rigging. We haven't touched this boat yet. If a boat company takes this time to keep the bilge area this nice, okay this clean we haven't cleaned this boat now, you know most of the time you get a new boat in from a dealership we spend a lot of time cleaning it getting getting all the bilge debris out this boat came from us from the factory like this okay they're taking time the cleanliness of the way this boat comes to me tells me that this company is taking their time in the assembly production the way they take the thought to to wire this bilge and to run these wires in here and to keep this stuff neat and clean okay um, that, that, that is all small things that you can't see what's on the inside of this boat. When we do walkthrough videos, we talk about this lid, this compartment, this, because I have to show you guys things that you can feel, you can see, okay, that are tangible. I can't, I can go on about the stringer system and the inside and the, and the vacuum uh, molded fiberglass, but none of that stuff you guys can see. So what I say when you look at a boat, look at things that shouldn't matter, the bilge compartment. And if that bilge compartment's as high and tight as an Icon, there's a good chance that the rest of that boat of what you can't see is high and tight. And that's what we expect for this, uh, this level of boat, okay? We got a Mercury 250 on this. We have a uh, Atlas hydraulic jack plate black to match the boat. A Couple people have asked where the battery charger plugs in. Battery charger plugs in underneath here. It's kind of protected from the elements with that little lip. Trailer, custom trailer, black aluminum wheels. We've got lights that illuminate our Icon boat. We're proud of it. We want everyone to see our Icon boat. It also helps with us backing in those dark trailers. The deck on the Icon is an aircraft carrier. We know that. Uh, it's obvious. Um, I wanted to address something. I have heard some people, it's the first time I've ever heard this of any boat company. But there's people online saying this boat is too big, which is funny because it's always been bigger, bigger, bigger. I want to make something really clear from someone that's spent quite a bit of time fishing out of the Icon, okay? 
uh, both during the prototype phase, both when Jacob Wheeler first got his, and you know he invited me to uh, to come out and fish with him on the boat and see what I thought about it. This boat does not fish big on the trolling motor, and what I mean by that is I've been in boats that are 19, 9, and 20 foot one inch that feel very cumbersome, very big on the trolling motor. This boat is very spry on the trolling motor, very maneuverable, and yes, it's 21 foot plus in length. So there's a little bit of what you're saying is true. A boat so long is so long, but from a guy that's fished out of many boats, very various manufacturers, I will tell you, again, it's not tangible. I can just give you my opinion online. This boat does not fish big, okay? Now, where it does fish big, so to speak, is the room it has, okay? And that's what we're gonna climb on board and check out, folks. We're on this boat. It does fish big in the respects that the deck is an aircraft carrier, okay? We could probably send an entire fighter fleet to the South Pacific and land them on the front deck of this thing. I don't know about that, but here are the specs on the front deck. So you can see one of the bigger front decks in the business, but it's functional, you know? Um, I like the fact that the forward facing sonar, you could have two units up here on the bow, and I still have plenty of room to get in and out of the bow and stand up here, sight fish. I don't know of another boat that I can sight fish with dual mounts and not break my neck getting in and out of the boat. So I appreciate that. And just a super clean deck layout, all right? We've gone with the proven all tracks on this one. Again, when you look at a boat at Weedas Marine, understand this is the base package we're selling. Certainly for a lot of people, this is fine, but we understand you may want Garmin, you may want Lowrance, you may want to add an additional unit. Again, it's a custom rigging shop at Weedas Marine, okay? The pro, we, we rig, in addition to these boats that we're selling, we do probably 100 individual rigs a year where people have even bought their boat somewhere else and brought it to us for whatever reason. They, had it, they bought a brand we didn't sell or whatever, and we rig their boat for them. So custom rigging uh, on, on anything, if you see and you're saying, hey, I like that white boat, Sean, but I don't want the hummingbirds. It's like Burger King, you're gonna get it your way at Weedas Marine. Um, the console, I always wanna show this off in the icon. So this opens up and we've got access to our all of our wiring. And look, again, this is factory. Look how clean that factory wire job is. Super, super nice, super trick. And every icon, you get your little customizable. So you got a little trinket to put on your desk. And think about your icon when you ain't fishing and you're at work. Coming on down into the cockpit, we have yacht style seating. The seats are elevated in the icon and they have a very nice fluid, might I add, slide. See how I'm easily moving? I'm not herking and jerking and fighting it. Very smooth, very premium feel to the quality. The dash is fiberglass. We have the, the uh, touch panel dash system over here that's backed up with, with analog switches. Super custom, super nice. We have a large center box here with a friction hinge. See how that stays open? It's very nice, not to have that slamming back down on your hand. I really appreciate that. Got a little back backing right here. Huge live wells. And I can easily reach into these live wells from the driver's seat, which I really like that. So we got huge live wells, very heavy lids that are insulated. Now, this does not have the chiller system. I have not ordered that on a stock boat, but it does have the G-Juice injection system that'll take the G-Juice or any sort of live well, that's just a brand name, any sort of live well additive, and it'll add it to your uh, live well and keep your fish nice and healthy. We have a ginormous cooler that is in the floor here, okay? And we have a little net here to put your sandwiches in. Uh, these are various things that come with the boat and the rigging that we haven't rigged yet, but you can kind of get an idea of how much uh, volume of ice and drinks, food, what have you, that will hold. Fish rule tool holders. We center tackle storage that we've highlighted several times. This is a rolling storage system that we are able to roll forward and access mini Plano boxes below it. I believe you've got more Plano box storage in this boat than in anything on the market. And we still have room underneath there to put our rain suit. 
Big rigid industry LED lighting. Nice stainless steel latches. We have a day box here. Okay. Nice deep day box. Again, this is a good illustration of the water channels, the deep water channels here and the drain. Gonna keep that water coming out of the boat. Rod locker has no carpet in it, has non-skid pads, and it's completely open. We can fit a ton of rods in there, okay? We know Mr. Wheeler likes to fish with a lot of rods, and he wants to carry a lot of rods in the boat. So, hey, look, a lot of bass boats on the market. Icon has been making waves. This is uh, an ultra premium boat. Really, you know, folks, my videos can't really do it justice. When you get to this level of a boat, I suggest that somehow you get into Weedas Marine and you check out one of these beautiful Icon boats. Hey, this is a premium boat and we want you to have a premium experience. So we offer nationwide delivery. Doesn't matter where you are, we will bring this boat right to you if you make a purchase. We can custom rig it any way you like. And of course at Weedas Marine, we're always uh, aggressive on your trade-in. We understand that if you are in the market to purchase such a boat, you probably already have a high caliber boat that you'd like to trade in. So we hope that you give us a chance when that time comes. And uh, thanks for watching our video and checking out another Icon Boat.